Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Previously, we began the game's third case, and boy, did all my dreams come true. It is a flashback, and we're playing as one Gregory Edgeworth, and what's more, a young Raymond Shields as his assistant, and the legend himself, Tyrell Bad, has appeared. Oh, it's so good, dude. <laughs> so, the murder occurred in a very rich man's mansion, the master chef, Jeff Masters. He was hosting a competition to see who would become the next master chef, and he would bequeath a recipe, the angel's recipe or whatever. And the body was found inside the chocolate chest of this display. It's quite interesting. So we finished talking to everyone. Now let's actually look around the room a bit. It appears to be a display of sailing equipment. There's also the possibility that one of these is the murder weapon. No, it looks like these pieces were all made out of chocolate. You can't beat someone to death with these. <laughs> Misleading. At any rate, they all have such good worksmanship that they look just like the real thing. It really speaks about the level of skill Mr. Master has in his craft. It appears to be a display of sailing equipment. There is also the possibility that one of these... Yeah, we just... Same dialogue. How about the map? No, nothing for the map? Huh. Well, I guess there's less to look at than we thought, so... Here's the elephant in the room. So this was where the body was discovered. Yeah. The body has been removed. But otherwise, the crime scene has remained untouched. Hmm. Let's look on the right first. What does the Merle say? The Voyage of the Good Ship Red Rum is written here. Oh. Wowee. Well, what, what movie is that from? Where someone just says Red Rum over and over, but it's murder backwards? That's, that's a bit on the nose. It sailed the seven seas and in the end finally found a huge treasure. Modeled after the glory of an ancient adventurer. It's written here. So he failed six times. What an unlucky captain. No matter how many times he went on a fool's errand, in the end he reached the truth. It's just like a detective spirit. Did detectives even exist during the ancient times? That is a good question. To build such a large ship out of chocolate is magnificent. As expected of Master Jeff, I want to try eating it. Although I have no idea where to start eating it from. I would start with the prow. Anywhere would be fine, but if you start eating the crime scene, I'll make you leave. Wah! Don't glare at me! Can't you tell it was a joke? I'd like Raymond to be just a little bit calmer. So what is that? A little shiny thing in there. It seems that the body was discovered inside this chocolate treasure chest. The person who discovered it was Miss Hall. Monsieur Master, are you in here? Eek! She heard the sound of something breaking inside this room and came in. What broke? I would like a little more information about this. Hmm, what's this? Something has been dropped inside the treasure chest. Hmm, this is... It seems to be some kind of seal, with a design and initials carved into it. It's upside down, that's PH, not HQ. 
It looks like a signet crest. Was it the victim's? I don't know if it was the victim's, but we should take it for now. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's time for some logic. But first, I want to confirm something. HQ, that says, but on the bottom of the teapot... Yeah, that's PH. It was, a uh, Pierre something. Oh yeah, Pierre, okay, it's right there on the main screen. So, the fact that we picked this up while it was upside down is a bit misleading. Now then, logic. Um, well, that seems pretty cut and dry. Eh? Wait, what? Really? Oh, damn! <laughs> Looks like I jumped the gun! Is that the first time we failed logic in this game? I think it is. You know what? Maybe I should actually just look at the broken chest. Uh, can I do that? Aren't any clues here. But, um... I want to look at the broken... Oh. Well, crap. Oh. What else could have broken? I saw that. Um? Am I dumb? Maybe it's this. It seems that the stand supporting the ship has been broken. Yeah, okay. I thought, um... I don't think I really looked at that little bit there too much. I, I think my brain just auto-completed it to like, Oh yes, that is a bit of the broken chest. Yes, yes. <laughs> the ship tipped over and broke the treasure chest, didn't it? Oh, maybe. Could the victim have been crushed by the ship and killed? If that were the case, this would have been an accidental death. You two aren't serious about that, right? Well, we were only discussing one of the possibilities. I was being pretty serious, though. Detective Bat, I would like you to tell me about the state of the victim. If you mean a photo of the body, here, look at it, all you like. Hmm. It seems the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. Why is he, like, half covered with a blanket? That's weird. Has the murder weapon been found? You should try asking the prosecutor in charge later. It seems he doesn't intend to tell me frankly. Hmm, prosecutor in charge, huh? Hmm, hmm, ah, hmm, hmm, huh. I wonder who that could be, hmm, hmm. So, may I borrow this photograph? Sure. It's not a photo that was taken by the police. Miss Hall took a photo of the body with an instant camera when she discovered it. An instant camera? Is that like a disposable camera? An instant camera is a camera that can develop its film right after taking a picture. Oh, such convenient camera exists? Anyway, let's go over the state of the crime scene a bit. This photo, upon closer examination, contradicts the state of the crime scene. I'll have to deduce the contradiction to resolve this matter. Hmm. 
Now let's do some logic. Breaking sound, broken stand. Due to the broken stand, the ship lost its balance. It would seem Miss Hall entered the room upon hearing the ship collapse. Yeah, when Miss Hall entered the room, the ship had already fallen over. At any rate, I wonder why the stand broke. Maybe there was something wrong with the ship's balance in the first place. Is that really true? Well, the stand was made of chocolate, and the chocolate in the room was damaged in several places. Maybe someone did that to the ship. Each of Mr. Master's works had a piece that was missing. Add to that the fact that the ship's chocolate stand was broken. I think we can surmise that someone ransacked this room. And the one who did it could be the true culprit. That I don't know. But I think it's safe to say that the ship's stand got broken when the room was ransacked. And when the ship fell over, it broke the treasure chest lid. I expect that the lid of the treasure chest was originally closed. Oh. Oh. Wait, are we not done? Oh. The hell am I missing now? Huh? Wow, 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 we really are done with the logic, at least for now. Um Huh. Oh, we can talk to him more about the crime scene. Is it safe to assume that the state of the crime scene has been preserved? Crime scene preservation is the most important rule of an investigation. The body has been recovered, but besides that, it's been left untouched. If possible, could you tell me about the condition of the body in more detail? Miss Hall took a photo of it. Be content with that, defense attorney. Does this detective have a grudge against defense attorneys? I guess I have no choice but to investigate the contradictions of the crime scene myself. Contradictions of the crime scene. Oh, can we deduce somewhere? Yes! I'd wager we have to point out the absurdity that the chocolate chest had to have, like, been built around the body. That's what I think, but uh, what do I do? Um? I think that, that is contradictory to the scene. Um? I don't think we deduce here. What about over on the wall? Um, what's your face? Nothing new. Gustavia, that's it. Uh, what about this? Okay, we can't deduce here. It has to be okay. Okay, I'm pretty. I'm pre yeah, I'm pretty dang certain I got everything. Uh, Raymond, do you have anything? No. You're not even a real conversation. You're just uh, gonna say something at me. Hmm. So yeah, I'm pretty dang sure I got everything. I just wanna check and make sure. Definitely saw all this. So. Remind me what this says. 
find a huge treasure. Dark and ancient adventure failed six times. Um. God, I might. Hmm. Okay, this might be a lawn shot, but this, is, this right here, this is the uh, HQ signet. Do we contradict this and show the pH on the lamp? Or, not the, the lamp, the teapot? I think that's what we do. Oh, this feels like a stretch. Oh, this feels like a stretch. Oh, I don't like this. No. This part is contradictory. It contradicts this piece of evidence. This ship is confectionery. How sweet. Otherwise, we could board the ship and sail down the Chocolate River. What an unpleasant dismissal. Let's calm down and inspect the crime scene once more. Feels like something that was here before isn't it. Oh. Is it the blanket? I feel like it's the blanket. It would be here, I guess? Huh? Is it here? Blanket? Eureka. I'm mad. What? Okay, something that was here isn't here anymore. And then the fo- Oh, son of a- Wait. There's a, there was a second page. But... There's the anchor, the the prow, the cracked ship, the the cracked chest, I mean, the little splinter on the left. Okay, this is a long shot, but I feel like This bit here, right here, this part of the chest, it was moved. Do we deduce here? It should be leaning against that. Eureka. No, we target that then. Eureka. What? Am I dumb? Something that was here isn't here anymore. And it's not the body because we know that was moved. Fine, game, you win. I'm gonna look at the freaking guide. God. <sighs> it's the blood. It's. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood. Eureka. Are you sure the only thing the police removed from the crime scene was the body? Ah, uh, they also took away the piece of cloth the body was wrapped in. 
In that case, a major contradiction has been created at the crime scene. What, what are you talking about, Cloth? I... I did too... Mm. Contradiction. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. I'll check with forensics. Mr. Edgeworth, what happened? Comparing the photo and the crime scene, something struck me as being out of place. In the photo, the chocolate underneath the body remained intact inside the treasure chest. However, in the actual crime scene, it's missing. The chocolate with the bloodstain has completely vanished. Yes. Did the police remove it, or was this the work of the criminal? According to forensics, no one has cleaned up any bloodstains. I see. Well, that would mean someone erased the bloodstain. Who knows? Hmm. Not a full heal, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> uh, I feel like a dunce. <clears throat> It seems their investigation of this room is just about over. This should make it clear. Jeff Master is the culprit. Uh, why? All the rooms in this mansion were locked from the inside. And the only way to open them from the outside was to use this key to the mansion. Do you know who had the key? Master was the only one with the key. There were no spare keys. Someone made a spare uh, made a mold of the key with chocolate. Someone stole the key, made a mold with it. Made a duplicate made of chocolate. I'm calling it. I'm ca uh, that's that's what happened. Mark my words. By using the mansion key, Master could enter all the contestants' rooms. Of course, the key could also lock his room from the outside. However, Mr. Master's room is currently unlocked. Yeah, that's why I suspect Master is the culprit. I'd like to hear your reasoning in more detail. Wow! Cross-examination with such few bits of evidence. Interesting. If the body had been found in a locked room, Master would have been the prime suspect. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. After the judging, Everyone was scheduled to meet in Master's room. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was away. Contrary to his expectations, the body was discovered by Miss Hall. That's my reason for suspecting Master. Got that, Ace Attorney? So you also think it was Mr. Master himself? who vandalized this room. Yeah. You defense attorneys believe that justice lies in trusting your clients. But I'm a detective. If I believed every poor sap story, I'd let the suspicious ones get away. I understand your reasoning thoroughly. However, I'd like you to hear my thoughts on the subject now. Heh, <laughs> fine. Detective Bad believes that he is right, but I won't give up so easily. I can't accept his reasoning. I'll have to show him evidence that contradicts it. If the body had been found in a locked room, 
Master would have been the prime suspect. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Isn't it a little premature to suspect Mr. Master on those grounds alone? It's a little premature for you to be objecting. Just wait until I'm done. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. He left it unlocked. If the door had been locked, Master would be the only one who could commit the crime. Well, maybe the door just happened to be unlocked. Then, maybe the body just happened to be lying in the open, waiting to be discovered. Runt, do you think you can become a good detective with a logic like that? Ugh, but I don't want to be detective. I want to be a defense attorney. I hope he isn't trying to steal my apprentice. Master had a reason to leave the door unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. You believe the broken lid was Mr. Master's doing? Yes. If he hadn't done that, the body wouldn't have been found. It doesn't seem likely that he would break his own work while he was judging the contest. That's right! Master Jeff would never waste a good dessert! On piece of cake, he even eats them while dancing. That TV show is irrelevant here. Detective Bat, you know about piece of cake? When I didn't even when I didn't even know of it. What? This is a surprise. So, do you sing the song too? That's irrelevant. I'm going to take that as a yes. Anyway, the one who broke the lid on the treasure chest was Master. After the judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in Master's room. The judging began in Mr. Gustavia's room, right? Yeah. I too was looking forward to seeing his candy craft. Hmm? If you would like, I can put on the display of my candy craft for you right now. Pony? Pig! Ah. Uh, what do you think? It represents Sir Detective. <laughs> a, that's a pig, alright. Um, is that supposed to be a police dog? Oh... No, oh, no, no, this is a wolf. Oh. Yeah, I guess that... Yeah. I think that's Missile. Hmm. A lone wolf. Not bad. Well, I think personally a crow would fit a lot better. What would in my candy form be? I'm kind of curious myself. Hmm. Hmm. I would go with... Hmm... Eh... Maybe a boar. Moving on. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was away. Do you know the time of the murder? We are still waiting on the autopsy report. Without the autopsy report, how could you have arrested Mr. Master? We don't know the time of death, but we do know when the body was discovered. It was discovered while Master was judging Dane Gustavia's room. Isn't that what, where we are, we are right now? Huh. I believe he let the body be discovered to create an alibi. But that alone is not enough to arrest Mr. Master, right? Who knows? That's all I intend to say. Detective Bad, are you hiding something? Det 
Detective Bad seems adamant that Mr. Master is the culprit. I don't think Master Jeff would have broken his own creations. But why was the treasure chest broken then? Uh, broken then, yeah. Hmm. Just think back to the situation in which the body was found. In doing so, we should be able to see the contradiction in Bad's reasoning. So, uh, we don't have an, a map view? Hmm. Okay, I think we are in Master's room then. Uh, and then Dane Gustavio is the first room. Then Delicious Scones. Then the victims on, on the right, so... At the time the body was found... Master and Gustavia were in Gustavia's room. Um. And Bad is reasoning that Master intended for the body to be found after all the judging was done. So they would meet here in this very room here. Entering another contestant's room before the judging is done is prohibited. So, if Kate Hall heard the sound of the chest breaking open and came to investigate, there would be no time for the, the person who dumped the body to hide, which means whoever dumped the body in the chest was not there at the time. I think that's reasonable to say. Okay, let's take this bit by bit. That's when Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. Okay, this is true. After the judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in this room. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was away. That's also pretty true. made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. This sounds like conjecture. Um? Entering another contestant's room before the judging is done is prohibited. Yeah, wasn't Master a contestant as well? He wasn't just judging the others. I think he was also competing, I think? Can we take that to mean that this would have been locked? Uh, this feels a bit tough. Body had been found in a locked room, Master would have been the prime suspect. Is that true? Yeah, I guess it would be. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. Who is this? Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. Do we say, hey, no, the... What broke the lid wasn't the person, it was the ship? Do we say that? I think you might want to do that. Uh huh? Oh wait, no, I'm a dummy. Um. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I get the contradiction now. Bad is saying that... Um... That Master broke the lid before the judging began, so that when he was finished going around the rooms, they would all convene into this room and find the body. But... Oh, wait. I just... Oh, my train of thought just derailed. I, I had the thought. Oh yeah, the contradiction. Uh, but... When... When Master was in Gustavia's room, that's when it broke. That's when Kate heard it. She came in here and found the body immediately. I, I, I mean... Uh, so I was trying to say that surely this means that Master couldn't have been in the room when it broke because he has an alibi now. He was with Gustavia. But no, I guess he could have said it to be like a delayed... a delayed thing. I, mean, I, I feel pretty good about doing this for some reason, so let's try this. Objection. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Originally, the victim's body was hidden inside the chocolate treasure chest. Miss Hall entered the room when she heard a sound. I think it is likely that this was the sound of the chocolate ship falling over. Yeah, that's what you would think just by looking at the crime scene. You said that Mr. Master broke the treasure chest lid himself. But this photo shows that the ship's fall caused the lid to break. If the lid broke just before Miss Hall found the body, then Mr. Master, who was in the middle of judging, could not have broken it. I... Never said that Master broke the lid directly. The ship was set up to fall during the judging. I believe he tampered with the stand. Objection. Do you have proof he tampered with it? No, but the investigation isn't completely over yet. It seems they still haven't found anything conclusive. Have you found... Uh, that's not... that's not bad. Have you found any other fingerprints other than Mr. Masters in this room? Yeah, there was some left on the door. But the victim, Dover, and Master were also among the fingerprints left behind. Before we made our desserts, we all gathered here to have the judging explained to us. Perhaps that was when we left those fingerprints. But you didn't find any fingerprints on the works in this room. What? Someone tampered with the chocolate in this room. So perhaps there are other fingerprints on it apart from Mr. Masters. <sighs> no matter what we find, it won't clear Master of suspicion. Labby. Hurry up and dust the chocolate for fingerprints. Roger that, sir. Detective Bath! We found another person's fingerprints on all the chocolates in the room! Uh, whose fingerprints? They belong to a pastry chef by the name of Delicia. Well, 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 well. Good work. Return to the investigation. Yes, sir. It would seem that there are other suspicious people besides Mr. Master after all. <sighs> I don't need a defense attorney to tell me that. I'm not stopping my investigation. We will just go and listen to what this Delicia has to say. Delicia? Gustavia told us about her not long ago. Is she really a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal? Mr. Edgeworth, this Delicia lady sounds mighty suspicious to me. Hmm. 
It seems that it will be necessary for us to speak with her directly as well. Detective Bad, would you allow us to accompany you? I'm not obligated to do that. What? But, you were the one who discovered the truth of the crime scene. Fine, have it your way. Follow me. Detective Bad, thank you. D Detective Bad, sir. Are you sure about that? Right now, that prosecutor is in the room. Doesn't matter. Him and I don't see eye to eye. Him? Who's the prosecutor in charge of this case anyway? Manfred von Karma. Well, I called it. Yep, that, that was pretty obvious. Whoa! Von Karma is in charge? That guy hasn't lost a case in 25 years! Manfred von Karma, the living legend of the prosecutor's office. If the rumors of this courtroom performance are to be believed, he's a man who would do anything for a guilty verdict. No matter what kind of prosecutor he is, I can only hold true to the path I believe in. To be continued. Right now. Also, yeah, I see at this point that Gregory is the last unidentified silhouette on the bottom screen. I think... I think I was thrown off because, uh, as far as I remember in Ace Attorney 1, I, I want to say Gregory was wearing just a more form-fitting suit, I want to say. I think it was a black suit he was wearing. I don't think he wore a hat or a um, a trench coat. Also, wow. It's a fairy tale castle made of cream. Wow, a candy castle. And there are even some fairies over there. This room seems to be structured in the same way as Master's room. But it's nowhere near as cold. This room also seems to have been fitted with a temperature control panel. Oh, it's over by that orange lamp, right? Indeed. Let's not forget to investigate it later. Even so, this room is like something out of a fairy tale. Is this cream-covered castle Delicia's work? Where is Delicia? Oi? Can I help you? She looks so... kind... and sweet. <laughs> so this is a, the fearsome person, huh? Hello, boys. I'm Delicious Scones. In my native England, I'm known as Miss Delicious. Being called a boy, even though I'm already 34, it's certainly a rare experience. But boys, I understand you calling me that, but Mr. Edgeworth? As far as I'm concerned, you're all boys to me, even that detective over there. My name is Bad, not Boy. Bad Boy. Just how old is this woman? Mr. Attorney, let's just finish our business here. Hmm, right. Objection. Oh! You, what do you think you're doing, conversing with a mere attorney? He was inside the castle? Okay. Mr. Edgeworth, a, a scary man came out of the candy castle. <laughs> Von Karma. Huh? 
this man is Prosecutor Von Karma? Heep, many! So he's Von Karma. Pleased to meet you, Prosecutor Von Karma. My name is Gregory Edgeworth, defense attorney. Bah! I have no interest in the names of defense attorneys. After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. Yep, that's... Hasn't changed much. Nope. <laughs> what a rude man. That piercing gaze and furrowed brow. Ugh. He's even scarier than the rumors say. Although that statement was also very rude. Prosecutor Von Karma, would you allow us to investigate too? <laughs> you think I would give information to a mere defense attorney? As I thought, it won't be that simple. However, I'll make a special exception for this room. Why did he change his mind so quickly? You, old bloodhound! Don't call me that. My name is Bad. Huh. A mere detective speaking back to me. I admire your courage, at least. Bad, stand watch and see to it that they don't misbehave. Why, me? I will not accept your refusal. Well then, I'll be investigating Gustavia's room next. Ch I'm babysitting again. I wonder why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Instead of being on bad terms, it seems like they hardly know each other. Mr. Edgeworth, now that we've got Von Karma's permission, we can continue investigating. Yes, his manner bothers me, but I am glad we can at least continue the investigation. Hold it. I also need to investigate this room. I don't want you disturbing the room. So you'll investigate... after me. What? Aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you investigated this room yet? The detective in charge of the initial investigation was a close colleague of Von Karma. I came to take over for him, so I only got to this mansion just recently. So that's why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Detective Bad, will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to supervise us and also ensure we don't tamper with anything. You want me to watch you? You're a strange lawyer. Heh. <laughs> I'll let you stick around a little longer. Yay! You did it, Mr. Edgeworth! Thank you, Detective Bat. But if I decide you're holding up the investigation, you'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, let's begin the investigation. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, I guess... I guess we'll talk to everyone first. Oh, Delicious still hiding. Um... Hmm... Wait! Just one goddamn second. Oh, hello, old friend. It's been a hot minute. What is it, Mr. Attorney? Something about that ladder bothering you? Detective Bad, it's actually a step- Yeah! <laughs> I clapped! I clapped when I saw it! <laughs> uh. They're both the same to me. They're completely different. Look at their basic nature. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth, you tell him! <laughs> that has to be the dumbest running gag in, this, in like, anything ever. Uh, it's, it's not even a joke, but they do it so often it becomes funny. Uh. What? This room has the same design as Master's room. 
Is something bothering you? Von Karma was investigating inside the Candy Castle. I wonder why. Detective Bad, do you suspect Delicia? That woman is hiding something. My detective spirit is telling me so. Is that his detective's intuition? Something about this room definitely triples me as well. I should listen to what Delicia has to say. Do that last, I think. The sickly sweet smell of cream! Yes, this truly is a fairy tale world. And yet, here in this sugary sweet room, there was one with such a sour face. He doesn't belong in this room. That scary old man. Raymond, mind what you say. You're being a bit rude. Uh, sorry, it won't happen again. He reminded me of my old school teacher who used to get mad at me a lot. A school teacher? I definitely don't want to think of my son being taught by such a man. Oh, well, I recognize that blue cloth. That's what was covering the, the victim. I can't believe this amazing castle is made entirely out of confectionery. I know! What a work of fantasy! It's like a fairy tale world. You like all this fairy tale stuff, don't you? Uh, sorry. I got a bit too excited, didn't I? Oh yeah, I was going to say, do you think that yellow symbol on Raymond's sleeve, is that the Jam and Ninja's shuriken, maybe? I don't know. No, it's interesting to me since you're so enthusiastic about it, unlike my son. Your son? He's only in grade school, yet he prefers to read law books instead of fairy tales. I am worried that he won't be able to make any friends that he can talk to. A worry well placed. Heh, <laughs> what an interesting kid. I'd like to be his friend. Heh <laughs> I... Mm. <clears throat> I think you'd be more of an older brother to him. <laughs> an older brother, huh? Well, I've got some growing up to do then. More like uncle. Yes, and that's why we have to continue with the investigation. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. And just me with things supposed to be slotted into this. Hmm. This pillar has a hexagonal recess. It looks like a pedestal, but it has nothing in it. A hexagonal recess, huh? I wonder what would have been put in there. Maybe it's these yellow things? A giant strawberry would fit with the fresh cream. Detective Bad, I don't think strawberries are hexagonal. I was just hoping. Then... I hope it's a banana! I think I'd prefer blueberries. <laughs> I do like bananas. I think. Yeah, I think bananas are my favorite fruit. The castle doors are open. When someone opens a door, they really should remember to close it afterwards. Would he say that directly to Prosecutor Von Karma, though? Huh? It looks like there's some stuff inside. Uh, let's see. Wait. I'll examine it. Stay out of the way. Tch. This fresh cream melts too easily. Whoa. Okay. When they entered the room, Raymond said that the temperature here felt pretty good. I was like, oh yeah, sure, it has a... Cream has a higher temperature for preservation than chocolate, I think. 
so I thought nothing of it. But I think someone's tampered with the temperature. Well, that said, Delicia's right here. She would notice, wouldn't she? Seems like Detective Bad's shoes got covered in cream. Why were these objects kept inside the candy castle? If there's anything you want to investigate, you better speak up now. There are rolls of blue cloth here. Looks like there's four of them in all. They certainly don't look like desserts. Yeah, I don't know what the cloth is for. It almost seems like it was hidden here inside the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. Memory of a goldfish, this one. Two big rocks are placed here. It's like a storage room. Yeah, the inside of the candy castle isn't so dreamy. Hey, maybe there are raw gemstones. Who knew that there were such treasures hidden within the castle? Seems like a rather careless way to handle treasure. Huh? It looks like there's something underneath the rocks. Seems there's a pedestal attached to both of the rocks. Let's count, children. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what the pedestals are for. <clears throat> of course, it's a pedestal for displaying the gems. Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. Ah. <sighs> I think that's gonna do it. I'd love to chat with Delicia, but it looks like that's gonna have to wait for next time. Yeah, we'll finish talking with the with the forensics man here. Look at everything else, including the panel. And yeah, I guess then we'll talk with Delicia and put some logic together, and I guess it'll be time for more um cross-examination or rebuttals, butting heads, and all that. So Look, I don't even need to say it, right? But that initial inspector that Von Karma brought in... Yeah, they they tampered with this somehow. Manfred was uncharacteristically... okay with having Gregory, the defense attorney, investigate this crime scene. 100% something here has been tampered with. And something tells me it's actually going to be very unclear what it was. Hmm. So, man, where did the bloody piece of chocolate from the bottom of the chest go? And for that matter, what was the murder weapon? Man, there are like a thousand questions in this case already, and we've only just begun, practically. Um... I'm prepared to buckle down and expect for this case to last as long as the previous one. What, what, what within the animal jail. Um, but I think I'm alright with this because all my favorite characters are here? <laughs> oh man. Okay, not everyone. Not all my favorites. <sighs> but, yeah, bad. Von Karma. Gregory and Raymond. Oh, they're all just so good. I'm really loving this. This is great. So yeah. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll catch you next time. So until then, please take care.